The mother of the Chong sisters says she's disappointed with the president for showering former Bucor chief Nicanor Faildon with praise after the official was fired last week. Meanwhile, the DOJ confirms that a fourth convict in the Chong sisters' rape slave case was also released. Jenny Don has the story. Thelma Chong, mother of the Chong sisters who were murdered in 1987, visited her daughter's columbarium on Sunday. Thelma came with the news that the two out of the three reported convicts in her daughter's rape slay case have surrendered. The convicts were released under the GCTA law. Marjorie Chong would have been 43 years old this year, while Jacqueline would have been 45. Ngayon eh, nag-usap ako sa kanya. Oy, Joy, nag-surrender na sila, Joy. So, happy na tayo na, kasi last week, injustice talaga ako last week. So, ang sabi ko na, palangga ka sa ginoo. Na, after all, na yung nangyari for so many days, uh, nag-surrender din sila. Now, Thelma's waiting for the third released convict, Jusman Aznar, to surrender. But just this morning, Justice Department Undersecretary Mark Perete confirmed that the fourth convict in the Chong case was also freed. He is James Anthony Uy. Perete said Uy have agreed to turn himself in together with Aznar. On the other hand, Mrs. Chong admitted that she was dismayed at how President Duterte changed his tone towards former Bucor chief Nicanor Faildon, whom he sacked last week for the backlash surrounding the implementation of RA-10592. But in a recent speech in Cebu, Duterte said that he still trusts Faildon, saying that the same official he fired earlier is an upright man. Faildon, karong na nga tao. I still believe in him. Ay panahon nga ay usa ka negosyante nga re tulo ka bodega ang sigarilyo peke ang stamp. It was Faildon ang nagserbato na ko sir nga naa diha. Ug naghilom lang siya ni adto sa nangayo sa he could have made millions. Pogi na ako kung sa pay mo gihubad di raid because of that report by Faildon. We earned 37 billion. Mrs. Strong went to Naga City to personally thank the chief executive, but when she heard the third appraising fell down, she walked out of the venue. I was so shocked. Na after sinibak niya, all praises naman siya kay Faldon sa Naga, di ba? So nagtaka ako, nagtaka at sa kagalit, di ba? Galit ako kay Faldo sa ginawa niya eh. Pina, pinalaya niya lahat ng mga kriminal. Ano ba itong sinasabi ng presidente, di ba? So, ay, hindi na lang ako nagsalita. Bago ako mag, ah, ma-high blood ako, I was going to shout. Di ba? Shout na, b****! Ganun. So, ang akin lang is, nag-walk out na lang ako. Para wala akong masabi. Mrs. Chong added that she will not be surprised if Duterte reappoints Faldon to another government post. Hindi na lang sana niya sinabi yun. Di ba? Kasi adlib yun eh. Di ba? Hindi naman kasali yun sa ano? Sa program. Inisert lang niya si Faldon. So, ganun. I was so disappointed. Kay President Trump? Yes. Oh. Na he still trusts Faldon. After all, so you know what? For News 5, Jenny Dongon, We Are One News.